we are going to learn how to create these classes and how to animate these classes. So are you ready? I'm going to delete everything. Press A to select all and press X to delete everything. Press 1 from the number pad. Press Shift A and add a plane. Press R and 90. Now we have rotated this 90 degrees on the axis of X. Okay, now press tab to go to in edit mode and I'm grabbing it here. Now I'm going to add a mirror modifier from the modifier properties. Now we are going to add some loops. Press ctrl R and scroll your mouse up. We need three horizontal and three vertical loops. Now we can give it a good shape. Okay, remember two things. First, you should be in vertex selection mode and if you are not in vertex selection mode, press 1, not from the number pad. And the second thing, you should be in front orthographic view. Now just select these vertices and grab them in the right places you also can see a reference image and try to create as close as possible i'm watching my own glasses as a reference i have put it in front of me and trying to create the same shape just select the vertex press g and grab there's nothing too much in this process you can also be creative in this try some funny shape or the creepy one everything is on you i think it should be a little bit wider press s and scale it on the axis of x and i need two more loops in it oh i forgot this clipping don't forget to check that box so we have created two more loops select this edge and extrude it up press r and rotate it a bit and extrude it again now one more edge select it extrude it if you can't select it press 2 for the edge selection mode and select it now i have to select the whole glass area press 3 for the face selection mode and press c then click and drag okay now press i to insert we have created the glass area press alt and select this loop now deselect this edge and now we are going to grab this edge by pressing double g we are doing this because the faces of this glass are not even repeat the same process for this vertical loop we will get this smooth surface after applying the subdivision surface modifier to this i think this should be a bit on the left side uh, we just have to try to make all the faces even i think we have done a great job here this is this is fine okay select this edge and we are going to extrude it on the axis of y press one select this vertex and grab it a bit up now press two for the edge selection mode and select these two edges press o or click on this for the proportional editing object mode <laughs> i have increased the size by scrolling the mouse wheel up and, and i also have grabbed our selected edges a bit forward now i am adding the solidify modifier to our object and increasing the thickness okay this looks good for me now i have to apply this uh, solidify modifier so i'm going here okay. we also can press ctrl a to apply the modifier from the modifier section now press 3 for the face selection mode okay i have to disable this i forgot to do one thing so press escape to cancel the movement press a two times to deselect all the things press c click and drag now repeat the same process for the front also and select all the faces that will be our glass now press alt e and extrude it along normal grab them inside like this now we are going to insert it one more time press i and insert it a little bit not too much now our glass area is selected it is a very good time to separate this from the materials properties firstly i have added a normal material and named it sunglasses and i am going to add another material for our glass and rename it glass now we will assign this glass material to our selected area and we will add textures later now we are going to create the nose pad so select these faces and we are going to grab them like this i think i should add an extra loop here now we can create our nose pads and one more thing i have to do go to the modified properties and disable the mirror modifier from here now select this face and press x and delete this face and same for this press x and delete this face now we can enable our mirror modifier again now i'm going to select the bridge and i'm going to pull this out i think i have to pull the whole loop out so press ctrl z and select the whole loop by pressing alt and left click now we can grab it like this now it looks more better now it's time for the temples select this face press e and extrude it just a little bit now we are going to duplicate this press shift d and now i'm going to separate this press p and click on selection press tab to go to object mode select the separated object and press tab again to go to edit mode select the face press e and extrude we are 
not going to grab it too far just like this now i'm going to extrude it again so press e and extrude like this press ctrl r and add a loop cut here like this now select this face and press shift d to duplicate this and we are going to scale it press s and scale it a bit down like this now i'm going to press 2 for the edge selection mode select this edge grab it a bit down and same for this edge i'm going to extrude it press e and extrude it like this press 3 from the number pad for the side view now we can see how far we can grab this so now grab it like this i think this is good zoom in a little bit now we have to create a temple tip and you also can say earpiece so i just have extruded it and grabbed it down now i'm going to rotate this grab it like this rotate it a bit more i think i should grab it here like this extrude it again scale it up because we have to make this tip a bit wider now extrude it again and scale it down press 2 for the edge selection and select this edge loop by holding alt and left click i have scaled it up and i think this looks better now now in the materials properties firstly i'm going to delete this but we have to go to the object mode to delete this i'm going to add another one click on plus and new i'm going in the edit mode again and i'm going to select this one by pressing l and now press z and select the wireframe mode press c and select these faces for these areas we will add another material i'm again in the solid mode and click on assign button now you can rename this if you want if you don't want just just leave it like this i want to give it rubber like material so i'm renaming it as rubber now we have created almost everything we just have to create one more thing for our glasses zoom in here press less and i'm going to select this face now press shift s and select cursor to select it now press tab and in the object mode i'm going to add a torus press shift a from the mesh click on torus and i'm going to reduce the major segments from here and decrease the size press s and scale it down like this press slash again and get everything back press 3 from the number pad for the side view i think i have to decrease the size again so press s and scale it down a bit more i need two more rings like this press g and lift it up from the modifiers properties i'm going to add array modifier and setting the x factor to 0 because we want it on the z axis i'm scrolling it on the negative direction about negative 1.4 and set the count to 3 select the temple and press 3 for the side view and i want to create some distance so grab this on the y axis now select these rings press g and grab it on the right side a bit on the axis of y so these rings were a new object that's why we have to add a mirror modifier to it click on add modifiers and mirror click on this eyedropper select our frame and now we are done press it to select all the things Control 2 for the subdivision surface modifier okay now in the temple we need a loop cut select the temple go to in edit mode and press ctrl r and add a loop cut here i think i should push this a little bit inside now the loop cut that we have created i am talking about the first face of this temple okay i am selecting the last face in the wireframe mode and now we can grab this on the axis of y and push this inside but why i am letting this to be here this edge loop press 2 select this edge loop and also grab this inside okay now we are good to go but before that let me confirm that everything is good this is something that i don't want okay we have to fix this press 2 if you are not in edge selection mode select this edge loop press g x and grab it on the right side a bit hooray we have fixed this and repeat the same thing here i know it doesn't look too bad here but we can't lift this like that okay now we are done front is good back is good okay here is something that needs some adjustments press 3 for the face selection mode and select these faces grab it on the y-axis because i need this nose pad uh a bit longer like this hooray we have completed the modeling part okay now i'm going to select the temple the rings and the front frame press ctrl p and click on this object press 3 from the number pad and now i'm going to rotate our frame like this deselect all the things press shift a and add a plane okay what if i don't want this plane here this is automatically placed here because of our 3d cursor so press shift c to place the 3d cursor in the middle and now we can create anything press shift a and click on this plane scale it up 
grab it down to the surface okay good job select the surface go to in edit mode press 2 for the selection mode and select these two edges <laughs> no, no 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 we don't have to grab this press e to extrude we need walls like this we don't need too high it's perfect press tab shift a and add a camera and press ctrl alt 0 and i'll press g and grab it like this okay it's time to add a light so press shift a again and add an area light press g and grab it up and make it bigger and we also have to increase the strength of our light okay now select this surface go to in edit mode select these three edges and press ctrl b and now i'm going to scroll the wheel up because i need it more smooth press tab right click and click on shade smooth now select every object right click and click on smooth okay now it's time to add some materials select the front frame go to the materials properties and i'm going to select the color for our frame decrease the brightness press z and go to render view i'm going to set the metallic to 100 percent and decrease the roughness we can now select the other material that we have created in this material and it will be glass and now select the color that you want okay i think this will be fine okay now i'm going to select these rings click on new and choose the color that you want i will set it to 100 percent metal and decrease the roughness like this now i'm going to select the temple click on this rubber material and make it dark and i will increase the roughness okay now it's time for the surface choose the color and set it to 100 percent metal i will also decrease the roughness like this and i'm also going to change the world light like this and select this light and grab it down scale it up and, and i think i should increase the power a bit i'm just making small differences to make the scene more better and one more thing that I, I don't like the color of this glass so i'm just going to change it and i'm also decreasing the roughness okay now it will be good and i'm also going to change the world lighting strength perfect and what if the ring color and the glass color will match okay now it looks more better i'm changing the frame color uh, this will be okay decreasing the roughness and let me see if i change the strength of the world light okay okay enough now it's time for animation okay firstly i'm going to enable this and i'm going on the first frame because we are going to animate our glasses okay control a and apply this mirror modifier because we are going to animate these two temples separately okay in the edit mode i have selected one temple and make it a new object i need a rotation animation here but we can't rotate it like this firstly i am going in edit mode and i am going to select this face and i have pressed shift s and cursor to select it now from the object mode i'm going to right click set origin origin to 3d cursor i'm going to repeat this for the other temple go to in edit mode select this face shift s and cursor to select it now right click in the object mode and set the origin origin to 3d cursor now we can rotate it press r and z and rotate these two temples like this select both the temples and the frame and press i and click on rotation go to frame number 30 and open these temples like this and press i and click on rotation okay now you can see the movement of our temple okay now i'm going to select the other temple and i'm going to drag this here because this will open after the first temple okay on the keyframe 39 i'm going to open this press i click on rotation now let's see what we have created everything is looking good uh i think the second one should move a bit earlier what do you think let me change it okay i'm going to grab this a bit on the left side okay now it looks good great now it's time for the frame now click on the frame and we have added the first frame so we don't need to add the first frame again so i'm dragging it here almost like okay so press r and z and minus 300 we will rotate this completely 360 degrees but not at the same speed press i and click on rotation okay now go to keyframe number 40 and we are going to rotate this again press r z 
and 60 minus 60 and now press i click on rotation don't forget this okay now we have the complete rotation the first one the faster one and the second one is the slower one okay now we need a loop animation so we have to close these temples firstly i'm going to duplicate this keyframe shift d and just shake this here okay now select the first keyframe shift d and drag it here okay now this will be back in the previous position and we have to repeat this thing for the other temple but before that let me see the whole animation first okay okay now it's closing too fast and too early so let me drag these two keyframes on the right side of it and now i'm going to close the other temple also so drag this sorry duplicate and drag and now let me see okay okay now let me see where the animation ends and where it should end i think 75 it's good so we are going to set the end frame to 75 press 0 from the number pad and let's see from the camera's perspective everything looks good for me and now it's time to render our animation go to the render properties and reduce the samples to 100 and from the color management i'm going to increase the contrast okay now i'm in the output properties i'm going to set it avi jpeg and set the output location and finally press ctrl f12 hooray we have created awesome looking animation thanks for watching see you bye bye